the first number always indicates uh, the handle material. And M stands for metal. That's what it's for. And that's just showing it's got the stainless steel lock and stainless steel pins and the stainless steel blades right there. A very cool one, ain't it? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. I've got a, a couple of packages here I'm going to open up. Uh, not from subscribers. One's from eBay. And the other one is from uh, Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors. Uh, I contacted them. Uh, I was watching the, you know, I was, uh, I was just uh, surfing through YouTube the other day. It was last week. And I come across this channel called Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors, and, and uh, I just fell in love with them. Uh, they have a great time on that channel, and just a bunch of great men on, over there. Uh, uh, and I contacted them because I seen some knives that I liked that they were, were reviewing for the auction. You know, they were doing a uh, preview uh, on YouTube and all, and I was just going to see how much they were. And... Uh, and they they messaged me right back, and I told them who I was, and uh, and they told me if I give them a shout out, they'll send me these knives for free, and I couldn't believe that. So uh, we're fixing to open them up, and I'm gonna show you what they they are. They're brand new case knives, um, but uh, I they didn't even have to do this. I was I was gonna order them this week from them. That's just the type of people they are. They're just so nice. Just great men over there. And, uh, but I appreciate it. I really do. And, and again, uh, I'm going to open this box up and we're going to take a look at these case knives. And then the other uh, box I have is from eBay. It's another case knife, believe it or not. It's got a broke tip. We're going to fix it. So I'm going to show you what that is. But again, guys, y'all, uh, I'm going to. I've opened the box, but I haven't opened the case knife boxes, but they sent me two stickers, Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors. I'm going to put this up on there on a the wall of fame. Uh, I appreciate them send, sending me these. I really do. But y'all go check them out now. Again, it's uh, Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors. A bunch of great men over there on that show. They have great times and great knives. Yes, they do. I really do, and I appreciate this. And I'm, we're fixing to see those uh, case knives that, I, that they sent me that I contacted them about because they did that preview. Again, guys, they'll, they'll go through all them knives that they're going to be auctioning off, and you just learn so much. You really do. And they and they have a store, too. You can go on there and, uh, and, and order straight from that website, dscutlery.com, right there. So, again great people again guys here's what these stickers come in right here this box and uh here's a case knife brand new still in the box case knife and we'll we'll look at them next but i'm going to show you this case knife here that we're going to be working on and here it is here guys See that right there? This is a uh, 86. See that lightning bolt is right there? Stainless steel. Lock blade. It's a good looking knife, but we're going to be coming from the top down to that point right there. That way to retain its, uh, its factory edge. Original edge. It's sharp too now. But I know I could send this off the case, and that'd probably put me a new blade on there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put me a lanyard here, and I'm going to carry it for a little while. But I'm going to be coming from the top down, right to that edge right there. It's going to be a good-looking knife. And you ain't, I guarantee you, you want to be able to tell it was broke. Very light, great EDC, very nice and slim knife. But it's going to be... A very nice knife it really is and i love this fishing knife guys this one is is different from uh the regular ones because they usually have two blades but this has a bottle opener descaler and a i call it a fillet knife because it's so thin 
uh, but it's razor sharp too. But I'm gonna have to reshape, retouch up this blade too. Um, but it's a great knife. I'm carrying it for a little while. I gotta clean it up and, and touch up its blade here. But that stamp right there, guys, right there, it was made from 1946 all the way to 1956. Very nice knife. And I keep it in the sheath that my friend, Aaron, over at A&W Custom Designs, he made this sheath for me and I love it. I really do. I wear it about every day with a, 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 a fishing knife. Thank you, Aaron, again, man. Okay, let's get to these beauties right here now. Let's see. This here is a uh, Trapper Sportsman Series Bone Natural Bone Smooth Trapper. How about that, guys? When I seen this thing, you, you remember what I was, was telling you the other day, right? I have a thing for bears. And when I seen this on there, I didn't even know Case made these. But when I seen this on their YouTube channel the other day, that's when I had to contact them. I was already intrigued by the way Kevin and all the other guys were were uh, acting on their uh, channel. They were really just, you can tell they're just really great guys. But look here. I'm going to show you this right here. But you remember what I told you the other day? I have a thing for bears, right? Well, check this out. This is called the black bear. Ain't that cool? That bone handle. Beautiful, ain't it? Love it. Look at there. Cave Sportsman Series. Check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 guys. Love that right there. Ain't it awesome? I do, guys. I have a thing for bears, man. The black bear, this one's called. Smooth white bone. I wonder how they put them pictures on there. It's pretty, though, ain't it? Love it. All right, we know what that one looks like. Now let's look at this one. This one's a surprise here. Y'all heard me talk about it before. I have a thing for this. Uh, uh, I don't know if you call it a creature or uh, uh, the animal. But uh, I, have, I have a thing for it, too. Check this out. How about that? Sasquatch. You believe that? See, it's engraved in there. That's pretty cool, ain't it? It's a trapper as well. That right there is a... One, two, three, four... Uh, 2023. 9254. Stainless steel. Sasquatch. How about that? Isn't that cool? I'm going to wipe it down. And these are going to go into my collection. They will never be used. But I'll take them out from time to time. But I just want to thank Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors for sending me these knives. Just for, for wanting to uh, give them a, shout, a, a shout out. I was going to do that anyway and let y'all know about them. But they found out I was going to do that, and they said, I was, I'll was i just send it to you for free for doing that. But ain't that awesome, guys? Very cool. I love Sasquatch, and I love bears. Ain't that cool? It's just part of being in the outdoors, guys. I love camping. I love hiking. And uh just love the outdoors. I really do. Really do. But again, I just want to thank Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors for sending me these two awesome knives. I really do. Mr. Preacher sent me those knives, those two case knives, one with a bear and one of them with Sasquatch on there from Wiggins, Mississippi. 
361 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Mr. Preacher, I appreciate those knives, man. I really do. Love your channel. Y'all check out Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors. They're located in Wiggins, Mississippi. And this sticker is going up on my wall of fame. Ain't that cool right there? How about that? So check Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors out, guys. You will be not disappointed. Great group of men, great company. They profess the Lord. They're a great family-oriented channel. Love them. But thanks again, Mr. Preacher. Appreciate the knives, man. Okay, guys, what I'm about to do is... I think I'm going to take a little three-inch uh, grinder with a fiber wheel and try to get these scratches out. You got some scratches in there, so we're going to try to buff that out and then we're going to clean it up we're going to put a lanyard in here we're going to put a be new putting a new tip on there again from the top down to that corner right here and uh it's going to be a nice knife i'm going to carry it for a little while too and this thing's razor sharp and again guys this is a 1986 you can tell it's got four dots they refer to that s and that how they spell case and them two s's right there and even in the usa is a lightning bolt s that is a telltale sign when you see dots, just dots, and them S's is, in, is from made in the 80s. So, it's a good knife. Good knife. I paid up a little bit for this knife. I paid 31 bucks. That includes shipping. So, I think it was like 26 bucks I paid for it. But, uh, it's a good knife. It really is. And I wanted it. And, uh going to clean up good and it's going to be a great looking knife it's going to be a good edc knife because very slim lanyard hole i like it i really do knife ain't really dirty at all it just was abused at one time like it was put up after that Mama's Outback Leather Wax. You can find this at Shanko Homestead Leather Works. It's time to order some more. I know I said that last week, but I got to really sit down and do it today.
Okay guys, here it is right here. This is the 1986. As uh, you see the four dots, that means it's the 1986. 1980 had 10 dots, and for every year they take one away. 1980 would be 10. 1989 would be one dot, and it's got four, so it's 1986. And you can tell it's the 80s because it has the lightning bolt S's. See it there? That indicates the 80s right there. And this is an M1051 LSSP. It's called the Backpacker. It's aluminum handles, but it's got stainless steel blades, stainless steel pins, and stainless steel lock, locking spring right there. But it is a beautiful knife. It really is. And here's it's listed in my book right here. And back in uh, 2008, this knife would have been worth about $25. Mint. See who it is right here, the M, it's right here, M1051 LSSP, dots, 1980s aluminum, backpacker, what it's called, and it's $25, so uh, not too bad, and I paid $26 for it, plus shipping was about $31, bucks. so not too bad, you know. It's very light. That's what I like about it. I, I didn't know the handles were aluminum, though. But they are. And it's real light. And uh, I'm going to be carrying this for a little while. And you can see I added my lanyard here. You know, the M right here. See, the, the first number always indicates uh, the handle material. And M stands for metal. That's what it's for. And that's just showing it's got the stainless steel lock and stainless steel pins and the stainless steel blades right there. But very cool one, ain't it? And if you didn't already know it, guys, you couldn't even tell that blade was broke before. And it's razor sharp. I honed it in or I resharpened it with my field guided uh, work sharp sharpener. It's guided uh, to sharpen your blades at 20 degrees. This is a 600 fine diamond plate. This is a 200 coarse diamond plate. It's got a leather strop. It's got porcelain rods where you can sharpen uh, your fish hook on this one here. You, you see that groove there? So I got a groove. You just lay your fish hook up there and run that right there and sharpen it. And then you got a uh, fine, which is smooth. That's the main one I use all the time. Then you got a coarse one right here. It's got some grooves in it. Also has a little um, porcelain area right here where you can uh, sharpen serrated edges. Uh, but it's a real nice sharpener to put in your backpack. And it's, uh, it has a, even a lanyard hole here. But uh, it's very cool. It really it always does a fine job of me. I have a mechanical one that I got for Christmas. I haven't used it. I'm going to use that in my new knife shop when I move to the other building. But I just uh, don't have the room for it in here. But again, guys, this knife turned out awesome. I absolutely love this knife. Uh, again, it's very sharp. I ain't gonna lie. That thing is sharp as a razor now. And I know what sharp means. See, that? I cut that last week. It's, it's healing really good. I've been putting honey on it ever since I cut it. And it, it healed fast. It really did. Um, but again, guys, this knife is called the Backpacker. And it is a nice little knife here. It really is. I'm going to be carrying it. And I also have a little sheath I've got to work on, though. I'll do, be doing a video on this here real soon. I'm going to be doing a, a saddle stitch. Because you see the somebody had already patched this up. But it is a case. You can barely make case out right there. This is a case sheath. So I'm going to be redoing the stitching on this. And then I'm going to be carrying this in here because it fits really good I'll recondition it with that wax I have and I'll be carrying it on my belt for a little while ain't that cool it's gonna look good ain't it As you can see it fits it might be a little short for for this sheath but it fits good in there it really does can't wait to can't wait to restitch this it might be out here real soon because uh I'm going to be doing a saddle stitch on it with a wax thread. And it's very nice. I can't wait to do that. 
But yeah, I'm gonna be carrying this, guys. I love this little knife. I fell in love with it when I seen it on uh, eBay. Pretty cool, ain't it? But again, you wouldn't even know it was broke if you didn't know it already. That's what I love to do, guys. I love saving lives of old knives because I am a knife saver. <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to be redoing this sheath here. I'm going to restitch it with uh, some wax thread. And uh, that way I can add this to the sheath and wear it on my belt here. Because I absolutely love that, guys. Ain't that a good-looking knife now? See there? You can't even tell it's broke. You sure can't. I love it. I love to do that to these knives, guys. And this looks about almost brand new don't it looks new don't it? you got that one you got a little deep scratch right there that's been used and abused but again guys it's called the backpacker again i didn't even know case made these knives uh when i saw it on ebay i had to have it yes i did i think i bid my max bid was like 45 bucks uh because i knew it was going to go pretty good it went on up there to 26 bucks but but I had enough in there just in case it went on up there. But uh, I want it. And now I'm glad I did. Because uh, I wouldn't take 50 for it now. I really would Because uh, it's a great knife. Aluminum handles. Stainless steel blades. Stainless steel pins. This knife will not rust, guys. And that's why they probably it's light. And they probably why it's called the backpacker. Because it would be good to put in your backpack because it's real light. It really is. Anyway, tomorrow's video, redoing that sheath, the stitching, and we're going to um, be opening up two packages from two different subscribers. So I uh, hope y'all tune in tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. I certainly appreciate all the support, all the views, all my subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to say uh, thank y'all again for everything that y'all do. Because remember, guys, it's not what I do, it's what y'all do. And I just want to thank y'all so much for all the support. And I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good knife. Stay sharp.